What small act of kindness were you once shown that you will never forget? Wow, that's a great question. You're, got, you're, you're, I just wrote these for the, the guinea pig. You're the guinea that's pig. That's great. That's okay. a keeper. Okay, Keep that's that a keeper. Question. Yeah. This is where like workshopping questions here. All right, I'll take it. Now you're open biking. Yeah. This is your version. Um, let's see. There's a couple of ladies in high school who were <laughs> kind enough to hand job me. That was nice, which I really appreciate. I don't think women know how much that means to us. You know, women are like, oh, I'm not a piece of meat or whatever. And you're like, I know, but if you just gave me a hand job, yeah. I would, it would make my world. It's like, Telling a kid he's smart or loved. See, most people mention like a math teacher in middle school that that would inspire them to get into science. You, you, it's you give a shout out to the. Well, the that's part of. It. That's not the nicest, but I'm just saying that goes a long way. All right. Uh, let's see. Kindness. That's a great question. Uh, I want to give you a good answer. I uh, I got lost when I was like six. I was was walking around with my dad and I zoned out and went away and. Next thing you know, I don't know where I am. I'm in a neighborhood. This old guy uh, finds me crying on a lawn somewhere, and he goes, uh, come, come inside, and he tried to call my parents, and no, nothing came of it. Eventually, they found me after like nine hours. Cops were there. The FBI's out there, fucking helicopters. And I guess, you know, that's nice. This old guy took me in for a couple hours and just sat me down and kept me safe. That's something. Yeah. Oh, how about Enos? My transvestite uh, nanny, very kind. He, uh, did you hear about this? No. Okay, we had this transvestite nanny who was like a drag queen, but it was in the 90s, so it was weird, it was new. And uh, my bike got stolen, and he, you know, my parents were like, eh, what are you gonna do? They're poor kids, you know? And he was like, fuck it, let's, we're gonna go get that bike. And I was like, this guy's in a wig and high heels, big black guy. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, uh... Ah, what are you going to do? You know, it's gone. And he's like, no, nah, we're going to go get it. So we got in the van and drove around my neighborhood, saw the kids fucking with the bike, you know, five street toughs. And uh, he goes, all right, you want to come out or should I just do this? And I was like, you do it. I'm terrified. What are you, crazy? And he got out of the van in full, you know, heels and wig. And he went up to these guys and they went off. Oh, my God, look at this fucking guy, homo faggot, all this shit. You know, it's the 90s. And he just stared at them long enough to where they were kind of like, all right, well, I guess we're going to fight you now. And he goes, uh, that's not your bike. And they go, what are you going to do about it? And he puts his hand on the middle of the bike, and they didn't do anything. And he just picked it up and said, that's what I thought. Put the bike over his shoulder, slid the van door open, threw the bike in, and we drove off. Somebody stuck up for you. Yeah. And, in a, I mean, he could have got, I mean, they had, they had tools. They could have yeah. fucking tuned him up two seconds. That actually like takes courage. Oh yeah, real courage. And then that the 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 reason you do an act like that is that makes a kid like you feel like there's somebody on your side. Yes. That's powerful. Someone on your side is big. It's big. That goes a long way, especially when they have a the risk of getting their ass kicked or their job taken away or whatever it is. <laughs> 